Hi, I'm Jeremy Hopper, and you're watching Spider News. Hi, and welcome to this edition of Spider News. Uh, this edition, we're out at uh, Johnson Valley. It's one of my favorite places to, uh, to spend time, whether it be camping, sitting by a campfire, or wheeling. Uh, I enjoy it all out here today. The weather's perfect. But what makes it more special for us is that uh, we're here with our friend Jeremy Hopper. Uh, many of you might have been following along on the helihopper build. Uh, Jeremy's just back from Afghanistan. Uh, he's part of our family, uh, has been part of our family for over a year now, but we've just finally got to meet him this week. He's spent some time with us at the Off-Road Expo, has been helping us out quite a bit in the shop to get things ready, and has been helping us out today to, at here in Johnson Valley uh, testing parts. So it's been a real pleasure. His wife, uh, if you if followed along at all, is Amanda Hopper, who was our uh, Spider Girl. She was voted by you guys last year uh, to be our Spider Girl, and, uh, and our motto here at the Poison Spider is once a Spider Girl, always a Spider Girl. And she is family, Jeremy now is family, uh, and I couldn't let him go back to uh, North Carolina without seeing Johnson Valley. Uh, it's our stomping grounds, and, uh, and, and it's so much different, I'm sure, than what the South Carolina, North Carolina might look like, so I had to show him. So, Jeremy, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. And I just, I just want to say thank you very much for everything that you did on the build. All you guys did, you guys have really taken care of my family, and, and me personally, I know, with uh, helping out with the Hell Hopper build, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank it's you It's been much. our pleasure, Jeremy. Thank you very much. Thank you for a great day. Thank you. You might have noticed I was leaning on another new product. It's actually not a new product, but I've been driving JKs for the last few years and I haven't had the opportunity to, to wheel with this new trail gate. Uh, it's a part that many of you are already running, but uh, it's a part that many of you may not even know about. It's a, uh, it's a full down tailgate for a TJ. As you know, most of them s swing out and if you're on the trail with your CJ buddies who, who are able to pull these, their, their tailgate down at lunchtime, and put their tool bag on it or make their lunch on it or, or they have a place to sit while they're having lunch on the uh, trail. Uh, us uh, TJYJ guys have never been able to do that. So we've got this new tailgate, probably saves you 60, 70 pounds over the, the factory tailgate and it folds down so that you can use it uh, as a workbench. So uh, we're proud of it, it works great. I've <laughs> now been wheeling with it for a while, uh, no rattles and it uh, works with your factory hard top or your factory soft top. Uh, and it saves you a lot of weight, so and you don't want weight in the back. That's one of the, one of the places you don't want any weight if you're going to have it. So, uh, great product. Check the webpage out and get a little more information. Or give Rick and Starley a call at the shop, and they'll give you all the details if uh, if you're interested. Today we're out in Johnson Valley. And Means Dry Lake Bed, the uh, home of the hammers. We're standing at about where our booth was last year for uh, for King of the Hammers. But we're with uh, Magnaflow today. They're doing a little video shoot and also uh, doing some, some HDR photography on some very cool rigs. Uh, a lot of our friends in the industry were in town for the expo, so today was, today was a great day to, to shoot this. The weather's great. We've got uh, Jeremy and Justin from Pure Performance, Rock Crawler Suspension. We got Mitch from Trek Armor out here today. Of course, we've got uh, Venomous and uh, Daddy Long Legs. Ka, of course, the famous Ka is here in his rig, which has got uh, all these cars, of course, or rigs, of course, have got rigid industry lights on them, but the uh, Ka's got a lot of very cool parts on that, and we'll probably get some shots of it. Daddy Long Legs, we got uh, the Magnaflow LJ next to Daddy Long Legs. It's, uh, of course, Poison Spider equipped also. And a couple of really cool rock crawler Jeeps at the other end. Uh, gonna have some great shots. Hopefully we can share with you after today. Uh, weather's great. Maybe we'll get some of these on the trail for the very first time today. Most of them were all clean and shiny for, uh, for Expo. Today we're going to try and get them a little dirty. So we're out here in Johnson Valley doing some product testing and one of the things we really want to test is this uh, new front bumper. We've had uh, a couple of different brand bumpers out here. We had a ledge that we wanted to see how they uh, were uh, uh, how the approach angle fared against the uh, the other brands and uh, I'm happy to say that this one and the brawler light both uh, did an excellent job. We know that the uh, BFH is an awesome bumper and, and fit hits and uh, you're in big trouble but the brawler uh, light and this new brawler midwidth uh, did, a, did an excellent job. This is just a little bit wider than the brawler light for those of you that want a little more protection for the uh, front of your grill. 
Uh, it's not quite a full width bumper and it's not quite a stubby. Uh, so we're calling it the mid-width for now, but uh, it'll be on the webpage very soon. It's available just like the Brawler Light with tube gussets or the plate gussets. This particular one has the tube gussets. And on this style, I'm really liking these tube gussets. So it might be, uh, I think this will probably be the, be the version that uh, uh, turns out to be most popular. It'll take all winches again, just like the uh, Brawler Light. It does have the recessed winch mount, so it keeps the winch nice and low on your, uh, on your bumper. Uh, it retains the factory fog lights. And of course, in this particular bumper, we have the uh, uh, adapter from Rigid where you can run a dually or a D2 uh, in, in this bumper uh, and plug it back into the same switch that you use for your, your factory fog lights. This has the optional D-rings, uh, so there are two great recovery points, and I've even seen people use these for uh, part of their flat towing setup. So uh, very strong. We've had full 90-degree pulls uh, off these just to test the uh, strength of them, and I've never had so much of even as even a uh, cracking uh, powder coat. This one also has the optional skid. This covers your factory crash bar, but more importantly, you'll see that it covers the uh, factory disconnect motor for the uh, uh, sway bar on the Rubicons. So if you're not running a Rubicon and you want a little bit more clearance, you can run it without this and cut the crash bar off. Or if you want to protect that uh, sway bar motor, of course you can run it with the uh, skid. It's got the same ovals as we have on our Brawler Light uh, skid, but also that kind of ties in with the um, Brawler Rocker ovals on the side of the uh, on the side of the Jeep. Uh, it's got a really nice look. It's a, a little bit larger bumper, bumper, but it's just not too bulky. We really, really like this design. Um, and if you have any questions, just uh, check the webpage out. We'll have uh, more information. Also, while we're out here today at the Hammers, we. Uh, we're doing a little photo shoot, but also some product testing on uh, this new Daddy Long Legs rig. We've got uh, several new parts on here. Uh, these high clearance fenders, of course, and the coilover kit. Uh, I've even got uh, kind of a custom, semi-custom suspension system on here that, uh, that uh, may turn out to be an actual kit if, uh, if we get it uh, to, the where, or to the point where we feel like it, uh, it's ready for production. But so far, it's passed all of its tests pretty well. We're real happy with the way that it, uh, it handles. The stretch kit that we've talked about earlier on this thing gave it the perfect wheelbase for out here. Still tight or short enough and nimble enough to uh, get around these tight trails, but long enough to make the climbs seem silly. Uh, we haven't quite hooked up the uh, rear ARB on this, so we had uh, Detroit in the front and an open rear on back door just now, and uh, uh, we were able to climb it. So in three-wheel drive with this wheelbase and this uh, suspension geometry and these uh, Fox coilovers, uh, we were able to climb uh, back door. Uh, a lot of the credit, of course, goes to these beautiful BFGs. The, uh, it's, uh, again, it's the best <laughs> rock crawling off-road tire uh, I've ever wheeled on. And uh, it's, uh, it's taken me up back door every time I've tried. So I'm real happy with the way this, uh, all the new products are working out on this car. Uh, a few more tweaks and I think this will be a uh, uh, I think it'll be a very very fun trail rig also new to the uh, JK bumper line is this new uh, rear tire carrier bumper uh, it's a little bit larger than the brawler uh, rear bumper we have now and what it's what makes this one different than the brawler we have now is that it opens with the tailgate this particular one uh, it's uh, because of my wife's pleading that we've made a bumper that uh, and tire carrier that swings open with the tailgate so it uses the factory stops on the tailgate so there's no need for a pin on the uh, on the bumper but it opens up with one hand or one finger and closes the same way it's engineered to take a 37 inch tire and still be able to get your hand in here but I've, I've seen it with a 40 inch mounted on it it's just a little harder to get your hand back behind here uh, but the weight would uh, wouldn't be an issue here it's got a very clever design here as you can see to accommodate the uh, the different timing on the swings of the tailgate and the swing of the uh, uh, tire carrier uh, pivot point, so when this closes, it 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 sucks itself into this little V over here. This keeps it from rattling up and down while you're driving, and, it does, and there's no need for a secondary latch because when it closes, and and if this is adjusted properly, it's as tight as it's, as anything any latch is going to be, and it doesn't rattle, doesn't make noise. Carrier and it. Also has the factory or has backup holes in the uh, in the bumper or uh, holes for the backup lights in the bumper. Uh, if in this particular Jeep we have the uh, our crusher corners with the backup light. If you didn't have that uh, backup light in the crusher corner, this would be perfectly adequate. But now you've got uh, two pretty cool backup lights, they're LED, very bright, and relatively inexpensive. 
Also new on this bumper is the integrated hitch. Uh, one of the reasons we did this is that the factory hitch hangs below the cross member. Uh, I took Sherry's Jeep on the Rubicon and I know how important the hitches were for so many of you so we designed a bumper that went around the factory hitch but I found I was grinding that hitch on just about every climb that we went on so we've taken this hitch and we've moved it up and so far today we haven't been able to uh, scrape it on anything so that extra four inches of ground clearance in the back can make the, the difference between climbing an obstacle and not climbing an obstacle uh, also a nice recovery point it's got the, uh, the tabs for your safety chains uh, and, and we'll take uh, most uh, re two inch receivers right. This one's also a little bit wider. We had people that wanted a little more protection on the corner. This one actually wraps the corner, looks pretty decent with the factory flares, and also looks really good with our, uh, with our crusher flares. A little bit more protection for the corners if you're backing into something that uh, it gives you, uh, you know, just, a, just a little bit more coverage than what uh, our other bumper might do. So that's our new Brawler rear bumper tire carrier. A couple other new parts that we introduced on this uh, Jeep at uh, Expo this, this past weekend are these uh, A-pillar light mounts for the TJ. Uh, these accommodate the, both the single row and the double row 50 inch rigid lights. Uh, those should be in production any, not, any time now. The stretch rockers are now in production. As you'll see when we uh, do a walk around, we've tested them very thoroughly today. And our new stretch corners are in production and, and you can get this just the way it's set up right now, uh, today. Uh, just by calling Poison Spider. Also, our coilover mounts, we're probably in the next few weeks, you'll see those on, uh, on our webpage. Uh, so far, this kit has, has far exceeded our expectations and have done everything we've, uh, we've thrown at it. So, in this particular case, I've got uh, aluminum corners with a 40 inch wheel opening, with the uh, four inch stretch and a four inch stretch rocker with a three inch uh, crusher flare front and rear. So, uh, really opens up the wheel wells, allows you to run these big tires, run a low center of gravity, uh, and, and get the wheelbase that seems to be the, uh, the wheelbase that works really well on these climbs and tight trails. So, uh, so you start looking for this on our webpage probably in the next few weeks. Another new part that uh, thankfully we didn't have to test today is our new LJ full replacement cage. This is one of our laser fit cage, which means that uh, every tube is laser notched. Every band is CNC band, which means that uh, it's going to be a perfect notch and perfect band every time. Also, that's what's unique about this cage, as opposed to any other cage on the market today, is every one of these intersections you see has an etch showing where this tube has to fit on this tube. So because it's laser notched and it has a laser etched part number here and a laser etched part number here, there's only one way this cage will fit. And if you just read the instructions and, and follow the part numbers and put it together, you'll never need to get a tape measure out. You can't screw it up on the install. All it takes is somebody with a little bit of welding skills or a lot of welding skills to, to, uh, to put this together. Uh, we've had people that have been able to take this cage kit, tack it together in a few hours, pull it out of the, the Jeep, take it to somebody and have it professionally welded and put back in. Uh, and the whole process besides the uh, welding is done in, you know, in half a day. Uh, we have uh, guys in our shop that can do this whole cage, including welding, in uh, less than four hours. So it's a very easy cage to install.